In 2010, professional musicians Dan and Kirsty Jones decide to leave the UK to bring up their young family in a sleepy French village. Upon arrival, they battle technophobe functionnaires and obtain a mortgage from a bank manager more at ease with parchment, ink and a quill than Microsoft Excel. Oh, no! Dan soon picks up the language, avoiding traps such as wandering accent syndrome along the way and learns the French for I'm going to throw up from a pupil the hard way. He guides readers through a minefield of social etiquette, such as learning when one can kiss a fellow man without being punched in the face, and the near religion that is food and drink. Despite such challenges, La Famille Jones fall in love with an environment where health and safety practices are blissfully absent, and where children are revered almost as much as red wine and offal. By means of illustration, he recounts the day they are required to combine live rabbits, fireworks and naked flames at the junior school fete. Dan tells of his fiscally painful run-ins with the law, once while riding a pushbike in Bordeaux, and secondly, when failing to compost a ticket on a train. More fearsome than les gendarmes are the speedo police, who measure swimwear to the millimetre to ensure no one escapes with their dignity intact and who also learn poolside Europop-inspired dance routines with lifeguards in dinosaur costumes. Dan warns of bizarre animal-keeping practices, including the honing of killer hounds in domestic gardens, which unfortunately need to be accessed by visiting guitar teachers, and the transformation of such beasts into purple clouds separated by sausages at the doggy grooming parlour every weekend. Wild animals are equally at risk, as Dan reveals the secrets of the hunt. Really, a retired gentleman's drinking club with firearms. Due to their tendency to accept offers of abandoned fluffy mammals, La Famille Jones are soon owners of a small petting zoo, without ever understanding quite how. Dan sits the most academically rigorous exam of his life to be allowed to open a modest cattery, although it fails to prepare him for the time he locks himself in Unit 3. He tames his insomniac chickens and, having acquired goats for land management, Without realising one is pregnant, Dan tells of how one beast makes a cooperation pact with a rabbit which almost leads to his total demise. He also explains how to extract one's goats from a neighbour's kitchen with minimal damage to international relations, property and pride. As a guitarist, Dan recounts horror stories from boozy chateau weddings and explains why pretending to be French at such an event is a major error. He also warns against flippantly offering to help out at a French funeral. He highlights the differences between British and European concert life, the latter of which always starts at least two hours late, and the importance of Monsieur or Madame Micro, whose bellowings into a microphone are of equal importance to the music itself. Dan fights a long-running battle with his septic tank's 1960s-inspired plumbing, befriending the long-suffering Monsieur Bogovac along the way. He tells of the firefighter's macabre calendar and of his deep friendship with his elderly neighbours from whom he learns much, from lunar rhythm gardening to the creation of mind-warping hooch from excess garden fruit. An 11-year-old boy also shows Dan how to gather wild mushrooms without poisoning his family. La Famille Jones become deeply integrated into a society which maintains treasured values such as mutual respect, lending a hand and sharing a glass or two. You may well research employment law, pension rights and the impact of Brexit before you make your move to La France, but our secrets, learned through real-life experience, can only be found within these pages. They are indeed precious, invaluable and unique. We are La Famille Jones and we'd like to share our story with you. Extracting goats from Jean-Claude's kitchen and other essential tips from seven years of musical and family life in rural France. Available from Amazon or visit danjonesauthor.com.